Now, what has it been like over the last few weeks? I guess the Cardinals are trying to get you in for a visit, but you obviously made a lot of visits. What was it like the last 10 days, two weeks? Um, before the, uh, the draft, like two weeks before, I had like uh, plenty of visits. I can't recall how I many I had workouts. I kind of lost track. The Cardinals never gave me a, the Carl never gave me a call, so I was like, oh, they're gonna draft me or not? So I wasn't sure. They said they tried to be too, too busy. Yeah, I was too busy. <laughs> they really convinced me that no matter where you are, the conference you play in, if you're a player, they're going to find you. Ronnie, what does it mean to you to be here at this point? Because you only played one year of high school football because you had to help your mom raise your family. You worked as a dishwasher, as a waiter, and, and to persevere and, and make it to the NFL. Man, it's a blessing to be here, man. I'm, I'm enjoying it right now. It's so unreal right now. I still feel unreal. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to enjoy it, man, while I'm here now. Let's do how all that went down in terms of only playing when you were in high school. Were you, were you supposed to play initially and then had to make that decision? Well, I, I was playing my uh, spring, not great year. But my mom, like, she was a single parent. She was struggling, so I had to get a job, you know. And I was the oldest boy out of three boys. And I got me a job. I kind of, like, forfeited football for a minute for, like, three years. But it was killing me inside. I was, I was not playing, so... My senior year, I went out there, spring ball, and I played hard. Where were you working? I was a dishwasher, and I was a waiter at, spring, at, a, at a retirement home. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Was it after school? Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, sir. Like, what time to what time did you show? It was like uh, between 3.45 to like 9 at night, 32 hours a week. Oh, wow. Then you come home to your homework? And yes, sir. It was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. What, what, how tough was that to balance everything? Uh, it was very tough, man. It was very tough. You know, I kind of like, you know, I'm a hard worker, so I got through it. And it's for my mom, too, also. I, helped, I was supporting her, so I was just fighting through it, you know, just trying to balance it all out. Cardinals traded up to get you because they knew someone else was going to, was going to, was planning on taking you. How much did you know what was going on in the background? I didn't know at all. Like, I, they gave him a call, like, the fourth round before they called my name. And it was like, it was like Rodney, hey, watch the TV. Your name getting called. I hit the knees, man. I hit my knees and started praying. It was so unreal. I passed out for like three minutes. Yeah, I did. Well, I'm a little surprised by all this tension, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn from the veterans like Liz Campbell, you know, Frost the Ruckers, uh, who else? Uh, just the veterans, man. Rodney, when you woke up from being passed out, did you think it was a dream? <laughs> uh, absolutely, I did. That happened when you, when you heard your name get called? Yes, sir. Was it after the call or when you saw it on TV? Uh, after the call. After the call. What was your family's reaction? They was very surprised, man. They were very surprised because they were expecting me to go like uh, the next round or the next pick to a different team. Your mom seems like she's been a real big influence on you. What was her advice to you through this next step in your life? She told me just to play hard, you know, and just think about her, the rough times we had. What are you going to do with your first big paycheck? Uh, I'm a mama house. That's my first goal.